Hi everyone, today we're going to make these really beautiful altered Christmas boxes using these Dollar Tree gift boxes. I guess it's for like jewelry and it shows like a little picture in the front what you can do with them. Um, I'm showing you these cute like little stems that I got from Dollar Tree last year. I'm sure they still have them, but I'm actually going to start off by just measuring how big I want it because I'm going to like glue it diagonally on the lid of the box from corner to corner. But before I even do that, I'm going to go ahead and take some triple thick and coat the top of my lid because I decided that I wanted to put some really pretty like glitter on top. I love adding glitter to stuff. It's so much fun. And I'm taking this Winter Zest, or I think that was the name of this one, and I'm going to sprinkle some of that on top. And you could put as much or as less as you'd like. Then I'm going to add some uh, Diamond Dust to the top, um, also known as uh, Glass Glitter. And um, I just love how it enhances the sparkle a lot. <laughs> and I'm just kind of cleaning up my edge, like that way there's no glitter sticking out. And then I just took a random popsicle stick and I'm just going to pat the glitter down just to make sure it's not sticking up or anything. <clears throat> and then I'm going to take this snowy surprise glitter from Walmart. It's really pretty. And that one and the winter fest or zest, I can't even remember now the name of the blue one. But it's just like it except it's more of an iridescent, like white iridescent. Now I'm taking another lid to a different box, and um, I'm going to do this one with pink glitters. Doing the same exact thing with the triple thick, and I'm not putting a super thick layer, but I'm putting a generous layer. Just to make sure my glitter really sticks. But um, this one right here is like a little duo. It has a chunky glitter and it has an ultra fine glitter and they're both pink. Very pretty. I think I got this at Michael's a while back. And yeah, my label's kind of scratched off. I forgot how that happened. But yeah, not important. Anyways, now I'm going to add some glass glitter just like I did to the other. And as I said before, it just really enhances the sparkle, and I love it. I mean, it is optional, of course, but it just, it's really beautiful, see? And once this is dry, it'll really sparkle. And then I set them kind of like the lids kind of on top of the box, but without closing it, so that way it could dry better. Like from within as well, because... But anyways, now I'm going to take some really bright red paint and I'm going to paint another box with this. And I used a cosmetic sponge from uh, the Dollar Tree because I really love the application this gives. I feel like it's so quick. And I feel like it doesn't leave streaks. That's another thing I love about it. Really smooth application. And if it gets on your finger, that's perfectly fine. It washes right off with soap and warm water. And personally, I don't even care if I walk around with a stained finger, even if it doesn't come all the way off. But, you see, it, it just adds a very pretty application. And I believe I only needed, like, two coats. <clears throat> I believe this uh, red paint was called um, Red Apple, and it's by Apple Barrel. Isn't that funny? Red Apple by Apple Barrel. <laughs> Sounded kind of funny. <laughs> Sounds like it could be a tongue twister. Now I'm just kind of fixing up some spots. And then going to do the bottom of the box as well. And I don't really worry about the inside because honestly, I mean... The true decoration should be on the outside anyways. But if you prefer to do the inside, it's not a problem at all. I 
I just really love this bright red. It's perfect for Christmas time. Wouldn't this also be beautiful if I painted it red and then added some white stripes to make it like a candy cane? <laughs> that would be so cool. I mean, there's so many things that you could do, I mean, decoration-wise. That's the cool thing about altered boxes or um, crafting in general. You know, the ideas and options are endless. I just really love that application. It's really smooth. Then I'm just going to blow dry this so that way I could do my second coat, which I believe I did off camera or maybe not. No, I didn't. I just touched it up a bit. Now I remember. I went ahead and just closed the box because it was red enough underneath the lid to where it really wasn't that big of a deal. So I just like touched it up with a second coat. So I did kind of a light second coat and it did perfect. And I'm also painting this one instead of leaving it white and adding glitter because I just want to show you guys that you can literally decorate these in so many different ways. And painting is a lot of fun. <laughs> I think so anyway. I believe it's very therapeutic. I like how that word sounds. Therapeutic. <laughs> I know. I'm weird. Anyways, now I'm going to measure a gold stem, glittery stem. I don't really remember what these were called, but I call them like little Christmas stems or something. But I just think they look pretty laying over the top like that. I just feel like it just makes it look really pretty. And at first I go in with my Fabri-Tac. And I'm doing this just down the uh, main stem of it. The middle stem. And this is a very good glue, by the way. It's a lot like E6000, but it's a bit, like, safer, and it's not as strong smelling, too. <clears throat> it's pretty good stuff. But then I go in with my tacky glue because I'm very low on Fabri-Tac, and I'm just testing different glues as well. You'll see me using all these different glues throughout this video, but... You guys use whatever glue you're comfortable with, whatever glue you know works, or... But I'm just letting you know that they all work. So that's nice to know too. <clears throat> but I really only did this for one because I was testing this tacky glue and also because just seeing if it worked on this. And also because, I'm, like I said, I'm very low on my Fabri-Tac glue. Otherwise, I would have just used that one because it's really good stuff. <clears throat> I decided to go in with a toothpick to try to press these down better, and it did work. And to kind of scrape off some glue seepage. But this glue worked really well too, actually. I was pretty amazed. And this isn't even the turbo tacky glue, this is just the original, and it's pretty sturdy, pretty strong. I always thought the turtle one was better, and I mean, I'm sure it is, but this one still worked pretty well. I guess it just depends on the project. All I know is for this, it worked really nicely. <laughs> if I was to give any advice on these boxes, my favorite ones, because it comes in a three-pack, as you could see from the beginning, but... My most favorite ones to craft with is really the um, medium rectangular one and then the, the smallest one in the pack. But I didn't have any of the smallest ones. All I had was a few of these uh, rectangular ones, the long ones, and then one of the medium sized rectangular ones. But they're all fun to create with. And most of all of this is from last year. <laughs> I couldn't believe I accumulated so many Christmas things. I haven't even had to shop very much for Christmas. Not a lot anyway. But I really love like crafting in general. 
It's so fun. Especially when you're testing yourself and you're not even sure what you're going to do with something and then you just amaze yourself. So much fun. Now that that's all glued and dried, I'm going to cut off the little excess pieces of the stem sticking out. And it just makes it look cleaner, as you can see. <clears throat> <clears throat> and I have these really cute uh, mini pine cones that I got at Dollar Tree and they came on like this little like spun around stem. I think I actually show you. Yes, right here. They're on like this cute like little circular stem and um, I think they're more like a garland but I like to cut them off and use them. I was going to go with gold but then I decided since my color theme, my theme colors are going to be red, gold, and white. I'll use the brown pine cones with the white um, snowy stuff that's on them. That way it's not too much gold in one spot. I love it to all be mixed around. But I'm trying right here to go for like three different sizes. But if you can't get them exactly three different sizes, that's okay. It's still very beautiful. But um, I'm just using some hot glue for this part. And I just put it in uh, a little cluster of three. And then I was playing around trying to see if I wanted a fourth. And I was like, nah, I think three looks better. Now I'm going to take these beautiful like little foam ball uh, vase fillers that I got at Dollar Tree. And I'm using red and gold, especially being that my colors are red, gold, and white for this box. <clears throat> and I'm trying to kind of use like three different sizes, but all you want to be sure to do is your smallest want to go in front of the largest. So that way you can see them all. And I'm just adding little clusters here and there of the different sizes and colors. See how pretty that looks together? Very Christmassy. <laughs> And I'm just filling in all these little parts. And that's another good thing. It's very good fillers for this. Now I'm just taking these basic white flat back pearls that I got from Hobby Lobby in this huge package. And I've had these for years now. And I'm taking like a larger one and a smaller one. And I'm going up, up and down, or should I say down the stem. And I'm gluing them in little clusters of two. I think they kind of look like white berries that are growing on here. Really pretty and festive looking. I really like that. <laughs> and now I'm going to take this really pretty gold bling wrap and I'm going to glue uh, rows of two around the entire thing. <clears throat> and I bought this on Amazon, but I know you can find it on eBay and um, even in like Michael's and Hobby Lobby, I've seen it. And I'm just placing hot and glue, hot and glue, <laughs> hot glue here and there, like on every few um, rows. Because it doesn't have to be glued perfect, you know, like on every single one. Just enough for it to stay. I really love the way this gold looks on top of the red. So pretty. Very Christmassy. This would have also been gorgeous with green. I mean, you can do whatever you want. Like I said, you know, the options are just so endless when it comes to this. <clears throat> then I kind of got impatient. <laughs> And I just started gluing it different ways. But, I mean, you can do this however you want gluing it wise. I mean, you could even just run a little bit of E6000 down the sides of the box or um, your Fabri-Tac or um, maybe even the, um, the uh, tacky glue. But I'm just choosing to go 
the quicker route and use hot glue. <clears throat> it's all about your personal preference, though. I mean, it all works. I really need to clean up my craft area. <laughs> I'm sure all you crafters understand. I mean, it's pretty hard to keep a neat area when you're just constantly busy with other crafts. <laughs> I think y'all know the struggle. It's pretty funny. At least we're doing something nice with that area. <laughs> right? We make it worth it. And then... I have this really pretty uh, white pearl trim that I bought from Hobby Lobby on this spool and I believe it was like $2.99 at regular price but I got it I think either 40% or 50% off I can't even remember because I got it last year but they usually always have sales on their ribbons and trims I'm not really sure how often but I know they do it quite often so that means I paid no more than what like $1.50 for this but see, like, that's why I'm trying to incorporate some white, because like I said, I'm doing, like, red, white, and gold for my theme colors on this box. I always choose, like, maybe two to three colors to do on each box. <clears throat> I can't remember if there's ever been a time I chose more than three. See how quickly that comes together? Takes no time at all. And I went ahead and did the rest of the bottom off camera and you can see how beautiful that turned out. Okay, now we're going to work on one of the ones I said was my favorite size box, the medium uh, rectangular shape box and I don't know why those are my favorite the medium one and the small one for some reason <laughs> but yeah I go in <clears throat> with my fabric tack again um, for the main part of the stem and I'm just gluing it kind of diagonally corner to corner <sighs> just making sure it's all the way stuck down And even though I'm kind of low on Fabri-Tac, I try to just start using that. I really need to get more of that stuff, but haven't really had the money at the moment. But that's okay. I find ways to craft. <laughs> if there's a will, there's a way. <clears throat> Then I just put some on my craft paper and then got a toothpick because I was trying to get this to go on a little less messy so that way it didn't like seep out everywhere when I uh, when I glue it down. I've even done this with E6000 glue. Put some on like a piece of paper and use a toothpick to apply it. It's a good way to get it like precise on whatever you're gluing. This one's a little stringy and it might be because it's drying out too. I've had it forever. <laughs> Probably almost a year now I've had that bottle of glue. But it is working either way. And now that it's dry, I'm going to trim off my excess, just as I did with the first box. 
can see how beautiful that is, like the way it just lies on there. I love that. It almost even looks like a Christmas tree going diagonal. And then taking some of the silver um, pine cones from the Dollar Tree, and like I said, taking like three different sizes and gluing them in a small little cluster of three at the corner. I really like how that looks. I've even done this with little like mini poinsettia flowers, but I couldn't find them this year for some reason. <clears throat> Not in the size that I want anyway, so I've just been making do with the pine cones and the little balls, the these, <laughs> the little foam ball vase fillers. And see this one I'm doing white, blue, and silver for my colors. And I really love that combination. So pretty and so winter, like like a winter theme. I love that. It makes you just think of snowy winter days. <laughs> Especially the white and the blue together. My goodness. Real pretty. And see, just adding cute little cu uh, clusters here and there. And I try, like I say, to do like three different sizes or at least two. But I can see how I probably used about three. And then I have these really pretty like little crystal flowers. And I bought these in a nearby store called KC Dollar. I don't know if they're anywhere else but Texas. I have no idea. But I'm pretty sure you can find like little floral um, embellishments like this on eBay. From like sellers from China and stuff. Because that's what these look like to me. And that store was kind of like that too. But um, I really love them. They're pretty. And I knew they'd match. <laughs> so yeah. I'm just adding some of those. And I just used three. I really love this box. And now I'm going to take these pretty like little pointy pearls that I got from. It was in like a big package of like three different colored pearls with different shapes and sizes. And I got them at either Michael's or Hobby Lobby. And I can't even remember, honestly. But I'm just placing them at random here and there, wherever they fit. And now I'm gluing some silver um, diamond wrap. Just like I did with the gold on the other one. <clears throat> and I'm just gluing the same. Just the uh, two rows going around. Only because I don't want to cover the entire uh, rim of the box. Reason being is because I want room for my pearls. I'm going to use that same uh, white pearl trim because, like I said, my theme colors are silver, blue, and white, so I knew it would go with it perfectly. And now I'm showing you guys the packaging. I meant to do that in the first place. But um, it's from Hobby Lobby, like I said. Really love this pearl trim. So pretty. I think Walmart even carries one similar, but I don't think you get as much on the spool. And I believe it's like over $2 or something like that. Maybe even over 3 I'm not even sure. I haven't had that one in a long time. <clears throat> I do love pearl trim. It's so pretty on so many things. Now I went ahead and did the bottom part offline, I mean off camera. And now I'm going to work on the pink glitter one. And I'm doing gold for this one because I'm doing like a pink and gold theme. It's so gorgeous. This is another one of my favorite ones. I don't even know which ones are my most favorites. I love them all. And this time I'm going to try it with hot glue. And it's actually the Gorilla Hot Glue. 
and um, <clears throat> you'll see that I try to glue the little um, leaf parts of the stem that stick out. I start to try to use my tacky glue, but I guess because the hot glue is kind of like bulky when you glue it down, like it sticks up a little bit. I don't know, I was having trouble getting the little piece of the stem to like stick down. You'll see right here what I mean. Yeah, it just wouldn't press for whatever reason. So I decided to go in with my hot glue instead, and I just put um, a tiny little string. I was very careful how much I was squeezing out of the... Like, very, I, was, I was very careful to not squeeze too much out of the hot glue gun. I put light pressure on the trigger. And if you have a precision hot glue nozzle, that would be really good in this case, if you're going to do it this way. But it still works, you just have to be careful, that's all. And then I'm going to take these, again, these pretty gold um, pine cones from the Dollar Tree. And again, just taking three different sizes. Gluing my little cluster. I really like gluing these things down like this. It's just, it's so fun to see it come together. Especially watching it right now as I'm doing this voiceover. I like to see things come together like that. I need to buy some of these in pink. I didn't have any, so I'm making my colors white pink and gold. And so for this part I'm just doing the white and gold. <coughs> Excuse me. And um, I think, oh yeah, what I actually wind up doing is on two of these, once I've had them glued down, I have got the bright idea in my mind to um, coat a couple of them with triple thick and then put a little bit of ultra fine light pink glitter on top of them. <clears throat> but um, it's kind of hard to see on camera, but in the pictures you might be able to see it. And the good thing is, oh yeah, here's what I, when I do it, I just took a little bit on my finger and I uh, put some triple thick on that one at the top and then this one at the bottom. <clears throat> and this helped a little bit add in more of the pink color. <clears throat> and I'm just sprinkling a little on each one. Like I said, it's a little hard to see on camera for some reason. I tried to show it, but it still didn't show. And then I got these pretty little, like, light pink iridescent pearls. Um, it came in that same package as those uh, white iridescent pearls that I was gluing on earlier on the last box. <clears throat> on my blue, white, and silver box. But this one, um, these ones are a different shape and color and size. <clears throat> But I'm just gluing like little clusters here and there like I did on my other boxes. Actually I'm gluing like a circular one and then like that two-sided pointy one together, see? And I zoomed in so you could see a little bit better what I'm doing. <clears throat> Using my little jewel picker that I got at Hobby Lobby for this helps a lot. <clears throat> I just really love how these look. It really helped to incorporate some more pink, especially since I want that to be one of my theme colors. And then I just took a random white Christmas berry off of a bush that I had, and I just put it in that little empty space there. Because <clears throat> I needed something to fill that space. But it worked. 
And then I took another one of those pretty little crystal flowers and I'm gluing that like in that little gap right there. I just thought it needed something there so I just put that there. I really love those flowers and this is the first time I got to use them too and I've had them for like, I don't know, boy, I don't know, over a year now. <clears throat> and um, again, using the gold uh, bling wrap, the same amount. And I went ahead and did the rest off camera. And now I'm using my pink pearl trim. Same place, Hobby Lobby, same price. Uh, $2.99 regular price. And I believe I got them half off. I can't really remember, but <clears throat> it was still a heck of a deal. I think I actually wound up buying these trims more than once, too. Because I've been crafting a lot longer than I've been doing YouTube, but I just decided to try YouTube out, and so far I've come to really like it, sharing my ideas, and um, <clears throat> I've been inspired by a lot of people. Um, I believe Happy Bird was actually the one to inspire me to use these boxes to craft with, and I just want to say a huge thank you to you, Happy Bird, for that, and... You were just the sweetest lady I know, and I want you to know that I thank you for that. <clears throat> I'll have to link her channel down below because she is just the most sweetest person, and she has so many good ideas to share with the world, and you won't be sorry. <clears throat> I really love the way this pink looks with the gold. So pretty. I love pink and gold together. And that is this box completed. And I really hope you guys like these boxes. I just had to take a moment to show you them on, um, like in slow motion and show the true shine and sparkle of them that they have. <clears throat> Wait till you see the other two, the ones that I use glitter on. They sparkle like crazy. <laughs> Look at that sparkle. I'll admit it does it even more in person, but it is very sparkly. Look at that. The pine cones and the, the vase fillers and all that. <clears throat> and the pearls. I really love the cluster of decor there. And last but not least... I'm about to show the uh, pink and gold, the sparkle of this one. I really love that, the pink and the gold, so pretty. And the white, that's a very nice touch. <clears throat> Well, anyways, I really hope you guys love this video, and I thank you all for watching so much, and I pray that you have a very um, happy, uh, happy Halloween and Thanksgiving and Christmas. Love you all, and God bless. Bye.